My name is Charlene Brocklebank, and I work in the mental health field. It was a simple thing. I was in the shower, and I slipped. And I cranked my neck in a way that I felt like heat went through my head. I didn't think another thing of it. I didn't tell anybody about it. I didn't realize that I probably had a concussion. About four to six weeks later, I started experiencing tingling in my hands and feet and um, really bad headaches. I found myself for the very first time in my life in the emergency room. They checked me for MS, they checked me for all kinds of things. They said, you know, can't find anything wrong with you. You know, we'll, we'll send you to a neurologist and we'll get you an MRI. They uh, sent me to see a neurologist who did all kinds of testing and said, can't find anything wrong, you don't have MS, uh, that's the good news. The bad news is you kind of have some soft tissue damage, but I still had this vision thing where my vision was, I, things would zoom in and out. That's the best way to describe it. It was like zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. My doctor called and said, listen, um, you have a really bad sinus infection, so we're gonna put you on this antibiotic. I took the antibiotic and I had a really bad reaction to it. My vision had gone from being perfect to being double. And I couldn't make it go away. And so that sort of sent me on the adventure. I am a voracious reader and I'll read everything and anything and, I, and that's what I do. I just read, read, read. It's my pleasure, it's how I de-stress, it's, it's everything. And I couldn't do it. I, I was having trouble concentrating. I was having trouble thinking. She never showed that she was injured, or, or I should say rarely showed that she was injured, except, except the reading went from, like, like she, could, she could go through a 300-page a book in, in two, three days, uh, you know, around work and around her life. Uh, it went from that to zero. I ended up at, um, with an ear, nose, and throat doctor because of this sinus infection that I had. And he suggested that I go and see somebody and do vision therapy. So I spent a year doing that. And um, it was a long year. After lots of money and lots of time and energy, I, didn't, I still didn't have the results. I still had trouble with my vision. At the same time, I mean, life goes on. She, she's still working. She's still functioning. You know. And, and essentially hiding what's happened to her, except, except I know. I finished up with the, the vision therapy and I was seeing my chiropractor and I'd, somebody had mentioned uh, Dr. Lemo's name to me and, and it had come to me in two different ways. I uh, made an appointment and I went to see him. My husband came with me. Uh, Dr. Lemo immediately engaged me, uh, you know, brought me into the process. Uh, made sure that I understood everything that was going on. I really liked him. I liked what he had to say. I understood what he had to say. He looked at me and he said, yep, this, I see this, this, and this, and I think I can help you. So I didn't really say very much to him at that time. And, um, you know, he was asking me questions. He asked me questions that nobody else had asked me that, quite frankly, I hadn't really said anything because they did, they just seemed irrelevant. You know, he predicted some reactions that uh, and then showed me you know the reactions to to the injuries that he predicted that she had that like I knew uh, I knew that like clearly like he's onto something that nobody else saw so I went back and we visited multiple times and each time he gave me exercises and I have been absolutely faithful to my exercise by and large Everything that he told me that w may happen did happen. After the third visit I went to, I thought, I, like, I don't need to be there anymore. She only saw him when uh, he felt you know, it needed to, but it wasn't like, you know, come see me every two days or three days. So it was like, you know, I, I thought, you know, a, 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 a well-measured, progressive uh, um, treatment. Uh, and the proof is in results. Uh, there were like immediate results. I was back to reading probably about a couple of months later like I was able to like I'd pick up my book and I was interested in reading again because I'd really lost my passion and it was probably about four months later four to five months later when we were on vacation it was like okay this is the big test we're on the beach I open up my Kindle and I'm reading and I'm 
like I'm reading. That trip, we were gone 10 days, and I think I read six, seven books. I'm back. <laughs> Being able to look at, look at things and look at people and be able to see them without seeing double of them is an amazing, amazing thing. And I'm forever grateful. I completely feel as though I'm better than I was before. If it hadn't been for Dr. Lemo, I can't imagine.